The requirements for this project are a mini breadboard, two non-insulated wire because this is going to act as the touch sensor, a BC547 transistor. I will say about this transistor in this video. A LED. You can take any color. I choose green color. Some wires, big and small wires are needed. It is a copper wire and a 10K resistor. Now let's see about BC547 transistor. In BC547 transistor, there are three pins. The middle pin is called the base, and the other ends are called the collector and the emitter. The image is here. You can see. I will give the image link in description and in comment box. You can view it. Now we are going to do every connection in this breadboard only. So let's go to our connections. First, take the BC547 transistor and connect it on the breadboard. The flat side of the transistor should be facing us. Now take a wire and connect it from the base of the BC547 transistor to the breadboard. Take another wire and connect it from the emitter of the BC547 transistor to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now connect the resistor to the collector of the BC547 transistor. Take another wire and connect it from the positive rail of the breadboard to the breadboard. Now take a non-insulated wire and connect it from the base of the transistor to the breadboard. Take the another non-insulated wire and connect it from the positive rail of the breadboard to the breadboard. Make sure that these two non-insulated wires do not touch each other. Now take the anode of the LED and connect it to the positive terminal and the cathode of the LED to the collector of the BC547 transistor. Now connect positive and positive terminal and negative and negative terminal on the breadboard. Now connect the battery clip to the breadboard. Now connect the battery. In here when we touch the non-insulated wire with our hands the light glows and when we take the hands from the non-insulated wire it uh, does not glow. So this is our project. Thank you for watching.